What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create second windows for our apps with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at creating second windows, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership of all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to learn about creating second window. So we've got our main window here. We click the button, boom, another one pops up. How do we do that? So there are a ton of different ways to do this. We're going to start out with sort of the easiest one and work our way forward and uh, see how it goes. So I'll be using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't already. So, okay, I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on and let's just start the designer. So when we do, we see the regular screen and we want a main window like usual. So let's go ahead and create that. And let me just sort of play around with this for a second and resize some stuff. So basically we just need a button. So let's come down here and grab a button. And just for fun, we can kind of make it a little bigger, kind of put it in the middle of the screen if we want. Come over here and let's make the text bigger. That looks good. And then let's say open window. Okay, so this is really all we need. So let's go ahead and save this. So let's go file, save as. And we want to be in our PyQt5 directory. I'm just going to call this window one. Okay, so now, you can do this manually, you can open up other windows manually, but then you have to write the code for everything in the window. And as you've seen in past videos, the designer spits out a lot of code and we don't want to recreate that by hand. So what we could just do is come in here and click new and create another main window. And you can see, boom, it pops right up here. So you may or may not have known you could do that, but you can have as many windows in here as you want. So let's make this one a little skinnier. Let's grab a label and pull it over here and let's come down here and have the text say second window Woohoo! <laughs> right and i'm going to come up here and just make the font a little bigger just for fun let's think 28 second window all right whatever so one thing we need to do before we actually save this is change the name of this thing. So if we come up here and click on our Q window thing here, we can come up here and we can see that the object name is new win is main window. If we click on this one and do the same thing, we can see its object name is also main window. So we need these to be different named because we're going to call one and it can't be the same name as the other one, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and instead of main window, I'm going to call this second window. Hit enter. Okay, so that looks good. So let's come up here and save that. Now, this is a little confusing. When you hit save as here, it's only going to save the thing that's highlighted. So right now, this one is highlighted. If we click this one, this one would be highlighted. We don't want to save it. We've already saved that one. We want to save this second one. So I'm going to click on it. And oh, that just isn't quite right. There we go. I don't know, whatever. So I'm going to click on it. Come up here, file, save as. And we're in our PyQt5. And I'm going to call this window two, I guess. And you can see right here now it says window two. This one says window one. So for good measure, let's do one more. And you'll see why in just a second. Instead of a main window, let's do a dialog without buttons. So go ahead and create that. A dialog box is basically the same thing as a window, but this one won't have buttons at the top. You can see like the minimize and the maximize. It shows it now, but once we save it, it won't be on there. So this is just a dialog box without the stuff on the top, right? And you could play around with this and take the toolbar off and do all kinds of things, but this is fine for now. Let's just grab a label and let's just come down here and make the size bigger. And then let's come down here oops, and call this a dialog box. And let's just make this a little bigger. Okay, good enough. So now I'm going to come up here and file save as we'll call this one window three. Okay, so we've got these three UI files, we need to convert each of them into a Python file. So a little tedious, but not too bad. We'll head back over here. And let's go py uic 
5-x, and the first one is window1.ui. We want a dash O to output that, and let's call this one window1.py. And I'm, I'm just gonna push the up arrow key on my button and it does this thing again. And I'm just gonna go like this, make this easier, so window two. And we'll do it again for window three. Okay, so now let's go Python window1.py just to run that to make sure. And okay, it opens up, we've got a button, it doesn't do anything yet, but we're good to go. So now let's open up these files in Sublime Text. So let's come over here and let's go file open. We wanna be in our PyQt5 directory. So let's find that. And let's just go window1.py. Okay, so, so I'm gonna open up the other two. So let's go file, open file. And this is window2.py. And then let's go file, open file, and then window3.py. So we've got all three of these files, and let me get rid of this stuff that always bugs me. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, inside of here, we need to create a, new, a function that we can call whenever we press the button that opens the other window. So let's just do it right up here at the top because I'm lazy and I don't feel like scrolling down. So let's go open window, something like that. Call it anything you want, but we're gonna open a window here. So hey, it kind of makes sense name it open window. Then here, let's define a window. So self.window equals, and we need to know what we're opening. So if we come down here to this guy and go down to the bottom, we can see it's a QT widgets dot Q main window. So I'm just gonna copy that and bring it back over here and do it like that. So that sort of defines that. Now we need to define the UI. So self.UI and set this equal to, and then come back over to the second window again and come up here and we need to call this class. And remember this is called second window. Well, let me just paste that in there first, like that. Remember it's called second window because in the designer, when we clicked on this and came up here to, let's see, this, we named it second window right here. So it's UI underscore second window. Right, but it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna copy whatever it says here as the class name, right? But that's why it's named what it is. So, okay, the UI is second window. Now we need to go self dot UI dot, and then let's come back over here again. And inside of here, we need to call this guy, right? Because this has all the stuff that we wanna use, right? It defines what's in the window, right? So we go set up dot UI. Now inside of here, we need to pass the actual window itself which is this guy, but instead of passing that, we're just gonna pass in self.window because it's already defined and it's a little cleaner that way. So, okay, that looks good. Now, finally, we have to show this thing. So we go self.window.show, just like that. So, okay, we're almost done. Now, in order to use all this stuff, we have to import it into our file. So up here at the top, we can go from, now we name this thing window2.py, but you just go window two. So from Windows window two, we wanna import whatever we name this class. So is that's this guy right here. So oops, there we go. Okay, so I think that's good. Now the only thing we have to do is call this function whenever we click the button. So let's come down here to the button, find it wherever it is. It was a push button, there it is. So here, just like always to call a thing, we're just gonna call clicked. And you know, there's several ways you can do this, but this is how we seem to always do it. So let's call Lambda. And this is a lowercase L again. It looks like a capital, but it's lowercase. Sublime just does that, drives me crazy. So we can wanna call self.openwindow because open window is what we called this function right there, right? So, okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over here and run that file again, Python window1.py. And when we do, we get our little app here. We click this, boom, our second window opens up and that's all there is to it. We can close it and open it and keep hitting it and it will close and open on its own. You'll notice these buttons here. Well, I call them buttons, but uh, you know, minimize and maximize. You can minimize it, you can maximize it. Whoa, all the things. What if we don't want those? Well, remember when we played with the designer earlier in this video, we created this other dialog box without buttons. We can also call that one instead. So let's come up here and we need to, the reason why I'm showing you this separately is because it's a little bit different. So here is Windows 3. This is that one that the dialog box, right? That doesn't have any buttons. 
If you come to the bottom here, you'll notice it says Qt widgets Q dialog. This one says Qt widgets dot Q main window. So that's a different sort of thing. So we need to do something a little differently because of it. So let's come up here and I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste it again. And let me just comment out this so that it'll be in the code so you can look at it later. But now we want to change this to deal with the dialog thing instead. So let's start at the top here. First things first, we want to from window three import whatever we call this thing, which is UI dialog. So let's import that. Okay. And then let's just go through here. So instead of QT widgets, Q main window, just like I said, that's no longer a Q main window, it's a QT widgets dot Q dialog. So we need to change that. So boom, there we go. The name of this is no longer UI second window, it is UI dialog. So let's change that. There we go. This setup UI is the same, so we'll keep that. And everything else I think looks good. So okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. That's really all it takes. Not a huge change, but it is a change. Uh oh, uh, line 21 indentation error. What did I do? Uh, this thing's all messed up. Hmm. Let me just do it like that, maybe. Uh, okay, well, let's just get rid of that for now. I'll put it back in a second. But for now, run this guy. Boom. Now we get the dialog box, those minimum and maximize buttons here. You see you're no longer there. You got this quotation or this question mark, which is a little weird, whatever. But if you want to use a dialog box, that's how you would do it. So I don't know why you would want to at this point, but you may. And uh, like I said, it's a little bit different than doing just a window, a main window. Like I said, the only real difference is this thing right here is Q dialog instead of, oops, let me put all this back here. instead of Q main window, right? See, that's the main difference, really. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I don't really care. Also get rid of this as well. Let's save this and run it one more time just to make sure that didn't mess anything up. So open window, second window, good to go. So that's a very quick and easy way to create and open a second window from inside of your first window. Like I said, just make it in the designer. That gives you complete control over what you have in the other window. Like I said, you could do it manually. You can write a second window class and all of the stuff that's in this window two file. I mean, you could write this all by hand. You don't need to use the designer. Or back at the beginning of our playlist, I showed you how to make windows by hand. So if you're doing it that way, you could do it that way. You don't have to use the designer like we did for this, but you know, the designer is super easy. And uh, so I like to start with the easiest thing when explaining things. So that's where we started and uh, yeah, pretty fun. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 out memberships. You pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.